Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we are going to see the usage of two important features of Microsoft Excel. These features are known as the flash fill feature and the series feature. Now both of these features are available in the fill section uh, of Microsoft Excel and what is their importance is that they help us to fill the data in our sheet or in the database. Now, as the name suggests, flash fill uh, is a feature which is uh, used to fill the data in a flash like quickly. And series is uh, what is used to recognize a pattern or a series of numbers and then fill the data accordingly. So this is the basic definition of these two functions and now we are going to take a look at um, the usage of these two functions and um, how can we use them, what is their application and many more things. So first of all, let us just zoom in a little bit into our worksheet. Here we have uh, some data available with us and we have four columns of value 1, value 2, value 3 and value 4. Now uh, what is uh, the main thing over here is some of the data is given to us and in the value 1 column what we have got is the first uh, four digits of this data. In the value 2 column we have got the last four digits. In the value 3 column we have got the middle uh, three digits or whatever the alphanumeric characters were available and in the fourth column we have got the last three digits of every uh, data that is present to us. So here you can see that um, whatever the data is we can just break it into different formats. Now we can easily do it using uh, some of the text functions as well but uh, what is the problem over there is that is a lengthy procedure. So instead of using the text functions, we can easily use the feature of flash fill over here. And apart from that, the text functions could not be used for like um, generating these high quality results so easily as it is possible through flash fill. So we are going to see that how can we use flash fill in this. So first of all, I'm just going to select all them and right click and click on clear contents to remove it. Then what I'm going to do in the value one column, what we had is the first four digits. So first of all, what we're going to do in the first column, we are going to type the first four digits that is 3000 and then press enter. Now um, we are going to just select all these cells. That is the first cell, which uh, is the data is present and all the remaining cells to which we want to apply the same formatting. Then make sure you are on the home tab and in the home tab there is an editing group present. In the editing group uh, there is an option of flash fill. So when you just click on it all this data is filled automatically. So that is how fast it works. You just provide it with a number and all the remaining work is done by the flash fill itself without asking for any other output. Now for the value 2, what we had previously was the last 4 digits. So this time again we are going to type the last 4 digits of our first data column that is U300. Then uh, once we have done that, we are just going to select it, go to fill and click on flash fill. And all of them are filled automatically. Now similarly we can do for the middle values as well, type in A32 select all the columns, click on fill and flash fill and they would be filled like this. Then for the fourth value, what did we have was the last three digits of the first um, data and the last three digits of all the data. So here we type in the value 300 and then we again select them, go to fill and flash fill. So here it is. Here is a problem that all this data is uh, filled with 300 cause the flash will thought that uh, we are going to select the first three digits of this column data but actually we are trying to get the last three digits. So we have to tell it that we are targeting the last three digits. So for that what I'm going to do is just press Ctrl Z. Now uh, just go to the second cell and 
type in the last three digits of the next data that is 191 and then using these two we are going to teach it the pattern of flash fill okay so uh, select all these cells and then go to fill flash fill and you can see that uh, now the data is present what we wanted that is the last three digits of all the uh, columns or all the data that was what we needed is now being shown over here so sometimes the flash will make it confused between two identical sets of data so for that what you can do is just provide it with a pattern of the data that is at least two data or even more than that to teach it that what kind of data you want to fetch and similarly it will fetch the desired data now this was all about flash fill now we move on to our next topic that is the series function in microsoft excel and this is also present in the editing groups fill option so before using the series function uh, what do we have here is a table of two so similarly we can just type in any number like three we have typed and um, we can easily just if we want to uh, generate its table up to the number 10 a simple way would be to just write in the numbers till 1 to 10 or uh, then we can just multiply it by that like 3 so here we can just put a formula similarly open the parenthesis 3 multiplied by what number multiplied by 2 we just close the parenthesis press enter and similarly we can just drag it to uh, 10 and we will get all its multiples up to 30 so that is a simple approach but what it is is if we just click on this and if we just uh, double click on this so this is actually the contents of the cell the actual contents of this particular cell are the formula which is being applied to it and not the number so if we just uh, want to go to the formula bar you can see that this is what we are getting now um, this is a problem over here so if we just don't want it what if we want that instead of um, you know a formula what do we want is something like the number to be displayed actually then we can use a series feature of um, the microsoft excel which is present in the fill options and that is what we have used over here so first of all i'm just going to clear the contents over here right click and click on clear contents and all these contents would be cleared then go to the first cell here go to fill and click on the series option so since we are going to uh, apply this into a columns format so just select this columns format now what do we want is one into one would be displayed one and similarly basically what we want is the table of one over here or the multiples of one up to number 10 multiples of two up to number 20 multiples of three up to number 30 and multiples of four up to number 40 over here so for that what we are going to do is first of all select columns format then make the step value as one step value is the difference of the value uh, between the two cells so what do we want the step value to be here is one as first of all we want one to be displayed then two then three and so on and then we need to provide it with a stop value that up to what it needs to do the calculations so for that we just provide it with a stop value of 10 now similarly uh, since the data is present over here we are similarly going to follow it with the number 2 that is now we want the table of 2 over here so for that we are uh, just going to provide it with a number 2 or the step value of 2 instead of 1 over here so that's what we are going to do is uh, we are just going to select these columns go to fill series and then here instead of 1 we are going to provide it with a step value of 2 and a stop value of 20 and then press ok so we need to just type in the number 3 and just select all these columns go to fill series provided with a step value of 3 and a stop value of 30 and press ok similarly 4 and a 40 and press ok so that's what we have got so if we just click on any of the 
cells over here then you can see that it has got the number 24 actually similarly this has got the number 18 it has got the number 8 it has got the number 7 and so on so this is basically the advantage of the uh, series function over the traditional formulas that were using up till now in microsoft excel when you want to generate a pattern of numbers you can just give a step value and a stop value with these two uh, parameters you can generate a series of pattern for yourself which is actually the number instead of the formula so you can see for yourself that how fast these functions works and what is their advantage over the traditional functions that we have been using so far. So this will definitely help you to speed up the procedure of your work. And that is all in today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video. For more such tutorials, keep watching the YouTube channel programming. Till then, goodbye.